Good day, my scholars. I am Abiola, and for this video lesson, we are going to learn the topic probability. So, what does probability entail? You know, different terminologies required or used in probability. Of course, you want to consider things like um, equal probable space. You know, you want to look things like conditional probability. You want to look at things like um, simple events, compound events. You want to look at certain events, impossible events. So much more are loaded in this video. So you don't want to go anywhere because you have to stay with us and we will be right back. back to my YouTube channel. So we have probability. So we recall statistics, you know, it deals about the collection, uh, organization, analysis and interpretation of data. So without data, we can't do statistics. And of course, we have to present probability. So if you want to measure uncertainty, we talk about probability. So you can see certain definition here. You can see a term, exhaustive set. So of course, this um, concept or this term here, we are going to explain it as we move further in the video. We have the next slide. Okay, so we have a definition here. So like I said, we are going to be having um, various perspective or views or definitions regarding certain terms, all right, so that we can understand them better. So we have a definition here. The probability of a given event is an expression of likelihood of the occurrence of an event. So that is, what is the likelihood that an event will occur? That is actually probability. So the measure of the tendency for that event to occur, that is your probability. So we can see here, a probability is a number which ranges from 0 to 1. So what does 0 represent in probability? 0 stands for an event which cannot occur. You can see that now. So we have 1 in probability represents for an event which can occur. So we can see that another view where probability is represented by number. So zero, the event can occur. One, non, the event can occur. So you can see wherever the deflection lies, we tell you that okay, this event is likely to occur or it will not occur. The next slide. Yes, so we have another perspective here. So probability, the chance of an event occurring just um, wrapping up what has been said earlier. So, of course, for us to determine probability, there are certain things we should get accustomed with. So, for instance, we have experiments. So, experiment is a process that leads to a well-defined result called outcome. So, it is actually a process that you engage, right, to get outcomes or an outcome at least. Do you see that now? So, for instance, now, if I want to tell how um, sweet or, okay, let me say how, how a particular thing tastes, probably a soft drinks, you know, I have to carry out an experiment and that is gopping some quantity in. You can see some quantities in. So that is an experiment and the outcome will now determine that, oh, I tell you that, oh, it is sweet or it is bitter. So that is an experiment. So examples of experiments, we are flipping a coin, you know, uh, just like football matches, you see, the, I think the referees from the start, well, before the match actually starts, you see them, they toss a coin, they flip a coin and that will decide the side that actually uh, plays the ball first or something like that. Okay, then we have rolling a die. You know, we can use our die to play various games, you know, like your Ludo, um, some other games like that. So that's an ex example of um, experiments. We have picking a card from a deck of cards. You know, we play cards. You know, we also play what and the likes. Alright, so what is an outcome or what are outcomes? Okay, um, the result of a single trial of a probability experiment. So, once you carry out an experiment, the result you are going to get, that is what you refer to as your outcome or outcomes. You know, certain trials can come up with more than one outcome. You can see that's why we have outcomes. So, we have sample space. So the sample space is actually the set of the outcomes of a probability experiment. So if I carry out an experiment now, the sum of all the like the, the accumulation of all the possible results I can get, that is my sample space. So like for instance, if I flip a coin, I know that my sample space will either give me a head or a tail. So my sample space will contain head, tail. Do we see now if I if I if I roll a tie, right? You can see my sample space should contain either I will get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a Six. That is my sample space. So all of the possible results I can get, that is what we refer to as the sample space. The next slide. Yes, so we have um, 
by our further definitions, you know. So an experiment is any action or process that generates observation. So you want to generate observation. You want to see things for yourself. You know, you have to carry out an experiment, especially in sciences, right? So we have it right here in mathematics as well. So the sample space of an experiment denotes S. You can denote it with the letter S, denoted by S. Okay, it's a set of all the possible outcomes or sample points. So look at an example. If I toss a fair coin three times in a row, you can see so these are the possible um, outcomes i can get so the list of all the possible outcomes you can get that is your sample space so if i toss a uh, coin three times in a row you know it's possible these are the things i can it's possible that the three times i told i chose the coin you know i can get head 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 or i can get tail head head or tail head tail or tail 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 or tail head tail you know something like that so all the possible outcomes i can get that is your sample space so what is an event an event is a subset of a sample space or of the sample space so look at the event of i'm um, tossing a coin you know i have a head or a tail so what is an event it's just one or i can just say it's a subset of the sample space so i can say my event from the outcome or from the sample space can just be I can get a head. You know, when I flip a coin, do you see that right here? So we have an example. Say, so look at three different events of the previous example here. So look at an event. So what is the event that I have three heads? So that is I get head, head, head. You can see that here. Right? What is the event of two heads? That is I can have head, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head. You can see an event right there. So the event that has the event that the last toss is a head so we have this whereby it contains a head at least so this is an expression right so an event is just uh, a subset of your sample space do you see that now so the next slide okay so uh, we have types of events all right so we have several types all right so i'm going to kick off with this so you can see we have impossible events so if we have impossible events that means, that means we have possible or certain we can refer to it as possible or we can call it some um, certain sure or secured event so what is an impossible event it is an event that you know that it cannot happen so the sure one will be that oh it can definitely happen do we see that now it should that is what should come out that's the possible outcomes that can come out so look at this in the throw of a die the sample space is this so the the certainty of the event or a sure event will include one two three four five or six a number i can get right so what is an impossible event regarding the throwing of a die so it's going to be this so it says let e be the event of getting an eight so you can see that that is impossible so clearly no outcome can be a number eight so a e which represents the event of getting an eight is an empty set right so it's an impossible event so complement of an event e or this okay so you can see the expression right here so an impossible event is an event that you cannot get right from the sample space or it cannot occur from that particular experiment so look at your sample space so your event is definitely um, your impossible events will just be subtracted from your sample space so if i draw a die what i should have should be any of this so i can't get an eight is not possible it's not part of the listing right there so the next slide okay so we can see uh, more types regarding events so we have event actually consists of one or more outcomes of a probability experiment so we can see what we saw uh, earlier on the slide oh that's beautiful so we have two types of events so we have more but for this um, slide right so we have the simple events so we can refer to this as simple or elementary event so a simple event is an event which just one outcome so like for instance rolling a three on a die so that is only if i roll the die just one so the probability of getting a three is just a simple event just an outcome so running a three on a die so look at a compound event a compound event is an event with more than one outcome so look at this rolling a, rolling an even number on a die so on a die you know we have the numbers one two three four five six so what are even numbers we have um, two four six you can see so i have more than one outcome so that is definitely a compound event of course there are um, several perspectives or views of uh, explanations offered to compound events let's move further yes so right here we have elementary events like i called it earlier the simple event so an event having only one outcome of the experiment is called an elementary event so like for instance getting a head when i toss a coin you can see getting a tail in tossing a coin for example so these are just basically elementary events so you just have one 
right outcome. So the sum of the probabilities of all the elementary events of an experiment is always one. So the probability of getting a head, that's actually one over two. You know, we have two outcomes, either I get head or a tail. So getting head, that is one out of two, that is one over two, plus one over two, that would give me one. So the sum of the probabilities of all the elementary events of an experiment is always one. So we can see that elementary event is just a simple event, whereby the outcome we are looking at is just one. Right? The next slide. Okay, so then we have a um, compound event. So a compound event consists of two or more simple events. So you look at the examples. Rolling a die and tossing a penny. So you can see I have more than two outcomes. At least more than one outcome to put it properly. So you can see spinning a spinner and drawing a card. So you are doing two things at a time. Right, so you are it's very very possible that in short you should get more than one outcome. So we are doing two things we have more than one outcome, then also we have tossing two dice. So if I toss this die, so if I get a three year, it's also possible I get a three year. So how many outcomes have I gotten? I've gotten at least two outcomes. You can see that. So tossing two coins, so tossing two coins is possible that I get eggs from here, I get tail from here, or I get tail from here, I get head from here, or head, head, or tail, tail. So you can see we have more than one outcome. So that is definitely a compound event. The next slide. Yes, so let's just look at a summary of um, the simple and the compound event. So you can see one simple event, a specific outcome or type of outcome. So you can see the compound events, events which consist of two or more simple events. So like I mentioned earlier, there are several um, kinds of events I'll be introducing us to, and it is contained in a long video, all right, with examples. So all you just need to do is to click on the link in the description below. This is going to get you to the My School website, of course. Right there, you get to subscribe and have access to the full video lesson. And do not forget to hit the like button. Also, click on the subscribe button and always time for bell notification for you to get informed immediately we upload the next video lesson just for you.